Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises. You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that to heart. They're waiting for you in hell! Then I just felt light. Like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt. No consequence. Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? Are we alone? We're alone. We're alone. We, we should go. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. So sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. Uh, we need a new moderator. You there? Yes! Oh, get out. Sweet. Thank you for volunteering. My downtrodden brothers and sisters of Gotham, you have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. Mr. Dent. Thank you. Gotham is still reeling after last week's mayoral debate. With the drugging and subsequent murder of Mayor Hamilton Hill, Harvey Dent was left running unopposed. After a rather lackluster election, Bruce, Mayor finally, Dent was sworn a in friendly face. Word is, he's still being held for observation. Meanwhile, it's good to see you. Well, congratulations, Mayor Dent. How does it feel? I would feel better if I were out of here. I'm ready to get back into it. Oh, what have you got there? I, uh... <laughs> I brought you some flowers. Though I see I'm not the first. Yeah, well, my mother and my secretary. <clears throat> Every sick boy's dream. <laughs> One woman I thought would visit, or at least call, hasn't. Selena's been a no-show. I thought she'd at least come by to congratulate me, if nothing else. Guess we weren't as close as I thought. Well, it's probably for the best to forget about her. Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd be a little more optimistic. <clears throat> Maybe you're right. I am glad you're here, though. God, it's been infuriating. Just sitting here and having nothing but time to think about what happened. I wish I could make myself turn it off completely. Watching footage of the debate over and over. Penguin would have just beaten me to death right there in front of everyone. He wanted to. I mean, if Batman hadn't been there, I would be... I was helpless, Bruce. Helpless. I couldn't do anything. Batman was the one who stepped up. Hey, thanks. What they did to Hill, to the moderator... I have to live with that. But you heard them up there. The Penguin and that maniac on screen. Oh, this isn't over. I need to stay ahead of them. They're trying to cause discord. Batman stopped them from killing you the other night, but they will try again. I won't hide from them, Bruce. The tonight's speech, they'll know where I stand. Of course, the doctors aren't thrilled about me leaving. My therapist is worried the drug might have caused some issues to resurface. Uh, make them unmanageable. She wants me to take it easy. To go slow. I mean, that's impossible, right? Not gonna be able to take it easy. Do what you think is best, Harvey. You know what you need better than anybody. Exactly. Resting and doing nothing is just going to drive me up the wall. I need to get back to work. To try and be effective. 
Honestly, I'm fine. Besides, I know I'm not the only one dealing with the fallout from that debate. I know how much you loved your father, Bruce. I know that debate was hard on you, too. Harvey, don't. You should talk about it. Finding out your dad drugged Esther Cobblepot? Hill admitting to having both of them killed? It's a lot to process. I'm sorry. Just because I keep reliving it doesn't mean you want to. Oswald and I were best friends when we were kids. I knew his mother. Talk to her. Look, I, uh... I realize what a terrible friend I've been to you. I was so focused on the campaign, I, I thought distancing myself from you was the only option. I'm sorry. Thanks, Harvey. I appreciate that. I'll make it up to you. What is that? Batman symbol. Coming from near the GCPD? <laughs> That's one way to get the guy's attention. And look, I, I should get going, Harv. What? Already? What else do you have to do? It's, uh, it's Alfred. Is he okay? Yeah, 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 he just needs to talk to me. Yeah, of course, go ahead. Uh, tell the old man I said hi. You keep your head up, Harvey. Thanks, Bruce. Unit 6, in pursuit of suspects westbound on 15th Street. Is it the children of Arkham? Can you confirm? Negative. They're taking shots at us whenever we get close. Understood. Stay on them. We'll think of something. A little help would be nice. Hang in there, all right? Oh, they knew we'd be there, Jim. We don't have enough officers to deal with this. Look, everyone stretched thin. I'm doing what I can. I have to go. That light has a bat on it, Jim. You give me a number to call, I'll rethink my methods. I'm just glad I got your attention. And I didn't have a lot of options. So, here we are. Not a bad idea. I'm impressed. I have good ones every now and then. I'd rather have you arrested than come to you for help. But the truth is, we're desperate. I'm calling a truce, just for tonight. Bring me up to speed. Right. Rene Montoya, one of my officers. The one who tried to shoot me. I know, but hear me out. She's trying to clear her name after those animals manipulated her into killing Falcone. She's supposed to be on leave, but she got a tip on the children of Arkham's chemical stash, went rogue. She's out there alone, and I can't spare anyone to back her up. I told her to wait, but this is personal. The children of Arkham pumped her full of that junk. I'll find her. We'll take down the children of Arkham together. That's what I like to hear. These children of Arkham are everywhere all of a sudden. Where the hell they all come from? I, mean, I never heard of them before. You saw the video from Arkham Asylum. The whole city did. That all happened a long time ago. It got dug up. And so did all the anger. Gordon, this is Schultz. Over. Gordon here. We got a problem with the mayor, sir. What happened? Is he okay? I don't know. We lost him. He took off and left us behind. Christ, one more crisis I can't deal with right now. We've got to keep both Montoya and Dent safe. Somehow. I'm on it. You there? Always. Launch the drones. I need eyes on the city. Lucius has made some upgrades. I'll let him explain. Who are you talking to? You got a whole team or something? A friend who can help us. That friend got a name? All right, patching you through to R&D in Wayne Enterprises. Batman, so listen. The first model was only equipped for visual surveillance, but seeing how you used them at the skyline, I thought you'd need an audio feed as well. The microphones are incredibly sensitive. They can pick up sounds from up to 500 yards. In some cases, you'll even be able to hear through walls. 
Nice work. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Any idea where they might be? Montoya's car was spotted crossing the bridge to Arkham Island. Could be where the handoff is happening. What about Dent? They're probably headed to his acceptance speech. They just left the hospital and we lost sight of him. What do you keep looking at? That car's been behind us since the hospital. God, is this guy trying to drive us off the road? Just drive faster. What the? Oh, damn it! I'm headed over to Dent. Your guys are gonna have to handle Montoya. I'll round up what officers I can. Gonna have to head out there myself, too. I know this is risky, Batman. Just be careful. Requesting backup. Corner of 15th and Main. We got a major disturbance here. Several armed suspects on the loose. We gotta hurry! Batman's on his way! Relax. Be ready for him. Listen, I don't want any trouble. You're too late, Dent. time you've helped me. Thank you. It's absolute chaos out there. Gotham is lucky to have you as mayor. I appreciate your vote of confidence. With you and me working together, we can fix this city. I'll call us a cab. Batman, be safe out there. The mayor's on your side. Heads up. They got three black and whites headed for the handoff. Gordon's with them. Was coming. They seem to be getting info on the GCPD's whereabouts. Not sure how. I need an update on the construction site. Bringing it up now. Stay down! We're coming to you! Everybody take cover! You'd better get down there. On my way. shouldn't have even been here, Lieutenant. I did this! Shouting about it isn't gonna do him any good. Sure could've used your help ten minutes ago. Nice work. Just strolling to survey the damage. I was out there saving the mayor's life. I, I didn't know. Tell me what happened. They got away. Took one of our guys with him. 
Go ahead. Say it. This is my fault. I followed them. I got ambushed. And now one of our own is stuck with those monsters. This isn't over. We'll find the children of Arkham and your missing officer. They won't get away with this. This is Gotham, not some fairy tale. The good guys never win in the end. Oh, what are you? I'm gonna make this right, no matter what it takes. We got our asses handed to us. They knew you were coming. How? We've been using a secure channel. You saying we got a leak? Gordon, Gordon to command. command. Anyone, Anyone there? there? Command here. What is it, Gordon? Turn that off. What? Gordon. It's been compromised. Gordon, command. Do you copy? Gordon, copy. I'm gonna look into this. I'll let you know what I find. GCPD's been compromised. The children of Arkham were listening the whole time. How? That's what I'm going to find out. Alfred, I'm sending over evidence of some kind of encrypted communication signal. It's coming up on my screen now, but I'm afraid it looks like a bunch of gibberish to me. I need to go to Wayne Tower and look into this. Get me Lucius on the line. Yes, right away. If the public finds out the police aren't able to communicate, It'll cause a panic. Just what the children of Arkham want. Mass chaos. That seems to be how the Penguin does business. I have Lucius on the line now. Bruce, are you there? I'm looking at this data Alfred sent me. It's messy. I have to know what the children of Arkham are doing. How fast can you decrypt? It's a tough one, but I should have it cracked soon if you can meet me at Wayne Tower. Already on my way. Almost there, Lucius. I'll meet you down in the lab. Some aspects of the Children of Arkham surveillance are worrying. Great. Bruce. Chairwoman. I didn't think you'd be here. I was, uh... I used to look to Thomas for guidance in hard times. Must seem silly. After everything that's happened. You know what they say about old habits. Yeah, yeah. I miss them too. Both of them. I know. Every day, I wish a father was still with us. He was wise beyond his years. And Martha, she was such a delight to have around. I've been called in for an emergency board meeting. I wasn't told about it. You weren't invited, Bruce. You are the topic of discussion for the board. They want to decide what your future at this company will be. Whether to dismiss you or not. You have to understand, Bruce. This company is bigger than any one individual. We have to keep face. And after this scandal... What my father... I'm not him, Regina. I would never compromise the lives of innocents for my own benefit. I know that, Bruce. But you have to understand that what the public wants to hear isn't always what we want to hear. The whole city is watching to see what our next move is going to be. Bruce, I've got something. You need to get down here. Now! I worked with your parents for years, and neither of them gave any indication of foul play. How could you have ever known? Bruce! You're nothing like him, Bruce. We always build up the people closest to us. When they fall, it's a terrible blow to everyone around them. I appreciate the cinema, Regina. Thank you. I mean what I said before. Families like ours need to flock together. 
Perhaps now, more than ever. I should head down. I don't want them to make a decision without me. I'll come find you after. I'll be right down, Lucius. Good to hear she's still in your corner. <laughs> Spying on my conversations again? Hey, I'm looking out for you. There have been whispers that the board was going to take action against you. If you lose the company, Batman will take a massive hit too. I know the cave is well equipped, but all of this is owned and paid for by the company. The board's in a panic, but this will die down before it comes to that. I'm glad you're being optimistic about this, but I'm not so sure. Right now, finding out how the children of Arkham are spying on the police is more important. What have you got? It's Wayne Tech, Bruce. As you know, Wayne Enterprises is a telecommunications giant. If someone were to, say, uh, build a backdoor into that tech... You're telling me the children of Arkham hacked into this system? So that's the thing. Do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, you're not gonna like it. <laughs> there's good news? If the children of Arkham are accessing the Wayne Enterprises network, I can't imagine there's a bright side. Eye of the beholder, Bruce. The good news is, I should be able to shut down the back door. But that's because I was the one that built it. You? What are you talking about? When your mission as Batman started, you needed a way to monitor the city. Well, this is how. I piggyback Batman's surveillance onto Wayne Enterprise's signal. If the children of Arkham have access to the same system, does that mean they know my identity? It looks like they've only accessed the GCPD so far. Not a lot of activity otherwise. I'll have Alfred warn Gordon. The GCPD needs to get rid of their Wayne Tech devices. Smart move. <laughs> I've encrypted our access. I can fortify it, but it's gonna take longer to force them out of the system. The question remains, how did the children of Arkham find out about the back door in the first place? They shouldn't have been able to find it. Not unless they knew what they were looking for. When the cops raided the manor, they seized every computer belonging to Wayne Enterprises. Mayor Hill must have given them to the children of Arkham. Trying to save himself, I'm sure. I'm gonna keep working on this Children of Arkham business. See if there's a way to shut down their access entirely. We'd better lock this stuff down, just in case. Newly elected Mayor Harvey Dent gave a rousing speech late last night, refuting claims that the Children of Arkham were gaining control in Gotham. Despite his run-in with the masked group on the way to the event, people are still hopeful that Mayor Dent can pull through on his campaign promises. People like the children of Arkham want to tear us apart. They want to burn everything that we've built to the ground. They don't choose to see the good in this city. But I do. Batman does. And we will fight to protect that goodness. Because we are not the children of Arkham's playthings. We are proud citizens of Gotham, and this is our city. Next up, we speak to Commissioner Grogan regarding increased security measures citywide. Uh, Tiffany's really taking after you. And Luke, 
stubborn as always. I think of what Gotham has become, and I think of them. They give me all the reason I need to work with Batman. He's the only one that will truly protect them. And he will, Lucius. Always. Looks like another invaluable piece of Lucius Fox technology. So, anything new? This is gonna take some time. Don't worry. I'll let you know when I find something. A new sticky bomb I developed. The signal is activated on the underside. Attach it wherever you need, then detonate it remotely with your gauntlet. Boom. Nice. Be careful. Those things pack a serious punch. Ooh, what's this? Uh, something I'm still working on. Some new armament to assist you in the field. There's only so much you can do on your own. But it's not really ready yet. Thermal vision? <laughs> You've been busy, haven't you, Lucius? Not sure I'll ever get the first one back from Selina. <laughs> Wonder if that's the only thing she stole. Looks like Regina's headed to my office. I should go. Now before you do... Here. Get that back to the Bat Computer. It'll install the added security measures. You'll also have all the info I found on the Children of Arkham's activity within the system. Thanks, Lucius. I've always got your back, Batman. Now get out of here. Regina doesn't like to be kept waiting. Maybe you've left. Yeah, right. Well, the board has voted. And have they sent the chairwoman to wield the axe? You're being asked to step down from your position as CEO. Effective immediately. At least until this whole mess gets cleaned up. I won't do it. Bruce. This is my company. My name. And that name is exactly why we're in this situation. This isn't a request, Bruce. I asked to slow all this down, but... The press release is going out as we speak. There will be a public event in the morning where you will formally announce your resignation. I'm sorry, Bruce. I tried to fight for you. The board believes this is the only logical course of action. I really appreciate you trying, Regina. Thanks. Don't mention it. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. They already had a candidate in mind. I thought it was... <clears throat> I was outvoted. Remember, he'd only be interim CEO. Just until this mess gets cleared up. And who would that be? Oswald Cobblepot. Bruce, old boy. Good to see you again. What a chilly greeting. As you know, Oswald's parents were... 
Well, victims of your father's actions. This company was built on the land he stole from the Cobblepot family. Well, the board thought having me step in would be a good PR move. What better way to show Gotham that Wayne Enterprises is committed to righting the wrongs of the past? Happy to help any way I can. People aren't much behind the Wayne name now. And considering that your parents stole from mine... I don't need your help. I can fix this myself. Well, that's admirable, but your name is tarnished, Bruce. You need me. Unfortunately, he's right. Any move from you, no matter how genuine, would appear self-serving at this point. The board has complete confidence in Mr. Cobblepot. As his resume goes into great detail, his endeavors in England have been quite successful. Besides, the company basically runs itself at this point. The CEO is mostly a figurehead. Don't make this harder than it has to be. You might want to check your facts, Regina. That resume sounds a little too good to be true. You might want to have more confidence in your own board. His resume checks out, and his references were all glowing. You're quite welcome to call them yourself. That won't be necessary. I'm afraid we need you to leave the building immediately. We'll have your personal effects sent to you. Congratulations, Bruce. I couldn't be prouder of you. Alfred. Oh, how sweet. Graduation present. Surely we could let him take this along. Oh, Bruce. Clumsy, clumsy. No wonder you're not being trusted with nice things anymore. I'll call someone in to clean that up. Bruce! I need security in here right now. No, what was that This is for? a disaster. You've lost your bloody mind. Bruce, stop this. Get him out of my office. Let's go. I'm so sorry, Mr. Copperpot. I'll go fetch the medic. That's very kind of you, Regina. Thank you. Bruce! They're out of their minds. They can't do this to you. This isn't over yet, Lucius. The entrance. I took care of it. We can't let anyone find out what's down there, Bruce. There are ways they could get in. You know that. It's all safe. Don't worry. For how long? Lucius, I need to know there's someone I can trust on the inside. I'm here for you, Bruce. I've always been here for you, not them. If I stay, I'll have to stop working on our side project. That means no new tech, no repairs if you need them. I could keep an eye on things for you. Let you know what they're up to. Feed you what information I can. No, Lucius, I need you to stay here. But... You're the only ally I have in this building. It's important. I need you to be my eyes and ears. All right, I can do that. Keep Oswald out of R&D. And let me know if anything comes up. Keep that drive safe. Which part? I wish life were easier for you, Bruce. It's just one thing after another. Yeah, I wouldn't mind easy for a change. Someday. With the children of Arkham accessing Wayne Tech, I have to figure out what their next move is. Bring up a searchable network of all possible electronic traffic related to Wayne Enterprises. If the children of Arkham are in our system, all of this is potentially accessible. All of this? 
Lucius was very thorough. It means that they could have eyes and ears into almost everything in Gotham. Just like Batman. They had access to the GCBD, we know that. The real question is, what else they'd be interested in? Filter for possible targets based on known children of Arkham activity. Patients committed to Arkham going back 20 years. A rather extensive list. With my father's signature as the transferring doctor. Security footage. These date back decades. Alfred, the video at the debate. It's real. This is how they found their evidence. Something Hill did gave them access. At least now I know the truth. Gotham Courthouse. All public records pass through this place. Now look at this. Oswald's public record. None of this is right. His whole criminal history doesn't exist as far as the rest of the world is concerned. This must be what the board saw. Not a blemish in sight. I wonder if they've cleared out all the Wayne tech. This is ridiculous, Gordon! Do you know how much all this equipment costs? We don't have the budget to replace it all! It's a risk we've got to take, Commissioner. If the children of Arkham can hack into our systems, we're completely ineffective. And you think going into situations completely blind is any better? Considering the alternative, yes. Sounds like they've got the situation under control. Good. One less problem to deal with. No, I... Yes. Yes, I know it takes time, but... statement of the century. Considering I've got at least one of my guys in the ER. Yes. Just please let me know when it happens. The children of Arkham aren't going to wait on us. I suppose I can understand the truth of that. Harvey has no idea. It's impossible to tell if the children of Arkham have access to this, but if they do, any action he takes against them, they'll see coming. Are you done here, sir? Not yet. City Hall. Record of Gotham Mayors. Hill had been in office for so long it's hard to remember a time when he wasn't mayor. Look at this. Theodore Cobblepot. Deceased two weeks before the election. seen enough. I have to go warn Harvey. Keep an eye on this, Alfred, and have Lucius look into it as well. We need to find a way to lock them out. Very good, sir. Welcome back, Mr. Wayne. You can go on in. I'm back. Yes, that's right. The back time. I'll need a rental in the meantime. Yeah, yeah, just get it done. What? No, 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 no press conference. Just tell them to reschedule. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. No rest for the wicked. Ah, uh, hey, Harp. Jesus! Don't sneak up on people like that! I wasn't expecting you, Bruce. You scared me right out of my skin. Sorry. It was my fault. I'll be sure to announce myself next time. No, no, it's... it's all right. It's not you, it's just... My nerves are a little bit shot. Uh, did anyone follow you? D no. What? Uh, good. No, that's, that's good. You can never be too careful. My mayoral portrait is scheduled for this morning. Guess I don't really feel the part right now. I've been 
Looking forward to this my entire career. Thought I'd win in a landslide. Would be loved and supported, but this... I don't know, it just all feels different. I feel hated. Like the city's against me. It's like I don't fit. Like I don't deserve it. Trust me, Harv. You were born to do this. You're the only person that can make a difference here. And part of me thinks you're just lying to make me feel better. God, the mess that Hill left behind. I'm telling you, it's gonna take months to get everything back on track. And I can't get the phone to stop ringing. The city's been in an uproar since the- Hold on, Harvey. You're acting weird, Bruce. Is something wrong? Just tell me! Are we being watched? What is going on? Come on, Bruce, say something! The technology at Wayne Enterprise is compromised. The children of Arkham are using our tech to listen in on Gotham. I knew it. They're already keeping tabs on the GCPD, and I'm pretty sure you're on their list, too. Bastards! They're like cockroaches. I've had this feeling for a while, that I'm never alone anymore, that I'm always being watched. The children of Arkham, they, they attacked my car. They are after me, Bruce. They want me dead. They tried at the debate, and they will try again. How am I expected to leave when I've got a target on my back? I'm telling you, it's like they're always there, back in my mind. I feel like I am trapped in a nightmare and I can't get out. So get rid of them. It'd be easy for the mayor of Gotham to make them outlaws. Declare the children of Arkham public enemy number one. Everyone in Gotham will want to turn them in. Yes, great. But how? I don't have nearly enough force behind me to bring them to heal. You know what I should do? The GCPD is all but useless against these children of Arkham. Batman knows how this city works. He knows you can't be gentle with criminals. You gotta strike fear into their hearts. Maybe break a few bones along the way. But something's holding him back. I mean, just think, imagine what he could do if we let him off the leash. He won't have the GCPD breathing down his neck anymore. He'll be able to really make the children of Arkham pay. No one to answer to. No ties to the law. I think Batman would like that. His authority would be recognized and signed off by this office. Even better. Batman works outside of the law. He's the only one getting anything done in this city. I mean, imagine, just imagine if we had an army of vigilantes just like him. It'll be a new Gotham. A better Gotham. We can use the children of Arkham's methods against them. If they want to play dirty. We'll play dirty. Okay, I'll admit, that plan doesn't sound half bad. It'll be simple, easy. Curfews in the dark, checkpoints at every bridge, 24-7 video surveillance. No one blinks in this city without my say-so. Sorry, Bruce. I'm so sorry, I... <clears throat> just got a little carried away there. Uh, Mr. Dent? The photographer's ready for you. Thank you, Deborah. I'll be right out. Please, Bruce. Don't tell anyone about this. I was just, you know, thinking out loud, that's all. I didn't mean any of it. It's just the stress of the job kind of gets to me. Your secret's safe with me, Harvey. <sighs> Thanks, Bruce. I owe you. Again. <laughs> again and again. See you around, Bruce. An interview with the children of Arkham's leader. I wonder how Vicky managed to score that. Have you seen today's copy of the Gazette? It just arrived a moment ago. It seems Miss Vale has been talking to some very interesting people. People the Batman would like to find. Do you think she would be willing to help you? She may be the only lead we have on the children of Arkham's leader. Perhaps she could be persuaded to reveal her source. 
Last time we talked, I gave her a pretty valuable tip. Sergeant Montoya's name. Though after this interview, I'm sure the police will become suspicious of all of Miss Vale's sources. And if they find out you leaked Montoya's name... True. We need to be careful. I can't afford to waste time with Vicky. Let's offer her a chat with Batman. Good idea, sir. Can you scramble the line? Right away. Vale. I saw your story in the Gazette this morning. I want to talk. Who... who is this? I think you know exactly who this is. Batman. Investigative journalism suits you. <laughs> I, I like to think so. I've been meaning to thank you. What you did at the debate. I'm not sure I would have made it out of there otherwise. I'd say I owe you one. Meet me at sundown. Cobblepot Park. Deal. Strange place to meet. Wasn't sure you were gonna show. Gotta admit, part of me thought it was a prank call. I need some information from you. It's important. <laughs> yeah, figured as much. So, <laughs> Batman, I'll skip the obvious question. The children of Arkham seem to be your latest target. We all know their methods are extreme, but what about their message? Their leader claims that Gotham's elite have been abusing their power, often at the expense of ordinary citizens. For the record, do you think there's any validity to what they're saying? In your opinion. You saw what they did at the debate. They're terrorizing Gotham. That's all there is to it. Yeah, some say they're liberating it. And you believe that? Well, it doesn't matter what I believe. I just report the facts. Their message is picking up traction. Especially since the interview. I need to know everything they told you. Does no one read anymore? It was a lot of posturing and grandiose monologuing, really. We're going to purge the city of corruption sort of thing. Not great from an investigative standpoint, but the public will eat it up. Part of the job, you know? If that's the only reason you called me, you should really just read it yourself. They aren't trying to hide their motivations. And I'm sure you made a profit. Hope it was worth it. I'm not sure you know who I am. Vicky Vale? Reporter? I'm paid to sell papers. Where did you meet? How did they contact you? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I'm not selling out a source. Not even for Batman. The circumstances of that meeting are confidential. Just like this one. I'm sure you wouldn't want me telling everyone how to get a hold of you. I can't give you specifics. I'm going to need you to be more helpful than that, Miss Vale. <sighs> Save the dramatics for those who deserve it. Bruce Wayne would be a good start. I still want to believe he's a good guy too, but... With the information that surfaced, everyone's angry. Everyone wants him to answer for what his family did. Everyone, except for you. Why haven't you gone after him yet? No way he just slipped under your radar. But so far, no action from you against him. Bruce Wayne is innocent. He's not responsible for what his father did. Maybe not, but he still benefits from it. All those people suffered so that he could prosper up in that mansion of his. I don't know if you have some connection with him. Maybe there's more to this story than I realize. But you can't ignore the facts. Whether he intended to or not, his family has been stealing from innocent people for years. So, what are you gonna do about it? What is Batman doing to protect them from Bruce Wayne? The people wanna know. There are bigger threats to Gotham out there. The children of Arkham. I have to deal with them first. You're doing what you think is right. I get it. Good luck with the children of Arkham. I'll be sure your message gets out. <gasps> I can make you talk. You're, you're really going to threaten me. If you think I'm upholding our deal now... Here, 
This is where we met for the interview. Just please, just don't tell anyone I gave this to you. Everything's dark. Quiet. It's empty. No sign of the children of Arkham? They may not have gone far. They should be there. No security, no emergency staff. If Vicky's right, it shouldn't be this quiet. Be on your guard. I'll continue monitoring the drone feeds from here. Thanks. Go and have a look around. There's a body here. Likely the work of the children of Arkham. I'm gonna look around, see what they've been up to. They've been referencing the map. Whatever they're building must hinge on it somehow. This depot is pretty centrally located. detonation device, but it's disabled. They must have intended to hook it up to something. The timer is set for 27 minutes and 13 seconds. From now? The numbers aren't moving. Doesn't seem to be counting down yet. This is how they were timing their route. Alfred, what stations are within a 27 minute train ride from this depot? I'm looking into the transportation database now. Sir, there's just one. Mercy Street Station. It's one of the busiest places in the city. Thousands of people go in and out every hour. This train car has been modified. How do you mean? Clearly the holding tank. It's empty. For now. Looks like some kind of sprinkler system. Doubtful they're planning to put out fires. The train car is their delivery system. Maximum coverage. The modified train car is going to be sent to Mercy Street Station. Someone's been practicing chemistry. Something spilled here. This is the drug they've been using. Refined. It's the same as the one given to Montoya and Harvey. This solvent increases dermal permeability. Looks like they ran out of the absorbing agent. These barrels match the shrapnel that I found at the docks. The drug is being modified here. They're changing it. He's been dead for a while from the looks of it. The officer that was taken from the construction site Shot in the chest. Oh, how terrible. There's something else. He was shot dead center. Twice. Executed. I suppose they no longer had need of a hostage. This man's veins. They look like Montoya's veins after she was drugged, only... They're so much worse. The same drug from the debate. I feared we hadn't seen the last of it. There's no puncture mark here. No entry point for an injection. So... How did it get in his body?
They've altered the drug so that it can be absorbed through the skin. The drug. The children of Arkham must have found a way to weaponize it. With a drug that can absorb into skin, it will affect hundreds of people at once. They're loading the modified drug into the tanks on the train cars, dispersing it through the sprinklers. The timers are set to go off just as it rolls in over the crowds. We are prepared to contain something of that scale. Releasing a drug like that in so populated an area would be devastating. They could infect the entire city if they had enough. Thankfully, there wasn't enough of the chemical to mix with the rest of the stockpile of drugs. There's a train coming! Take cover! If I'd known you were going to make me lug this thing myself, I would have worn more comfortable shoes. Just add it to the list of your mistakes. Must be why you didn't come through on your last assignment. Hmm. It's all here. Okay, you two! Get these mixed, loaded onto the train. This way. Their leader is here, with Catwoman. Catwoman? She's got more of that absorbing agent. She must have a good reason for being there. Doesn't sound like she's too happy to be here. She might need your help. We're done here, right? Not yet. No, 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 no. There's no part two of this. I got what you wanted. I'm done. You might as well come out, Batman. I know you're here. No, no way. I did not bring him here. I honored our deal. Oh, I know you did. But now, you're a loose end. Surrender. Unless you'd like to see firsthand what a critical dose looks like. She joined poor Esther Cobble. Death might be preferable. I know what you have planned with the Skyrim. It's not going to happen. Then killing you both will have to be a consolation. Thanks, Bats. Train's ready. Move out. People of Gotham are stronger than you think. They won't let this city fall into chaos. You'd be surprised. Fear can be incredibly persuasive. Go on. Show me how you'll save your precious city. Just look. Hmm. 
Don't pass out on me. Come on, bats. Get you somewhere safe. Just stay with me. I know. Come on. Stay here, okay? Just don't move. Thank you, Selena. Don't thank me yet. <sighs> Shit. You're lucky you were wearing that suit. You know that was stupid, right? <sighs> what? Showing up at that train depot. Taking on their leader alone. Repeat after me, Bruce. I am not invincible, and painkillers do not solve the problem. You weren't gonna take them down on your own. They would have killed you. Yeah, I'll be sure to keep that in mind. Suddenly so agreeable. I don't think you're getting very far with a shoulder like this. Oh, great. You can stay here until morning. Not that I owe you anything. After the debate, I'd say we're even. Selena. It's fine. You can have the couch until morning. Then I'm done owing you favors. Probably best to lie low for now anyway. I don't want the children of Arkham finding this place. I had it handled, you know. With their leader? I had a plan. I was just trying to help you, Selina. I didn't ask for your help. <laughs> no, I didn't ask for yours either, but here we are. Touché. That was gonna be my ticket out of here. One last job to get the goons off my back. So much for that. Thanks again, Bats. There is another way out. We can take them down together. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cute? The dynamic duo fighting crime. <laughs> Being serious. I know. Things have a habit of not working out for me on the duo front. Oh, look who's back. Hey, little one. I don't think she likes you. Okay, she really doesn't like you. Yeah, well, you've got most of Gotham behind you on that. Well, not most. Maybe half. Just trying to be optimistic. <coughs> T cut it out. This really hasn't been your week, has it? <laughs> you think? I lost my company, my reputation, and I find out my father was... Just like everyone else. They've all got something to hide, Bruce. Every last one of them. Even the so-called good guys. There's always something. So what is it you're hiding, Selena? All kinds of things. Come on, Bruce. Even you have your secrets. Those things you hide from the world. And won't let anyone else see? Are you saying you don't trust me? I'm saying... I probably shouldn't. You're a good man, Bruce. But good men don't lie with thieves. I know what I am. No noble intentions. Just the thrill of breaking what they say can't be broken. Knowing there's no safe I can't crack. No fortress I can't infiltrate. Proving I can. 
You're just listing all the things I like about you. <sighs> now you've ruined it. What? Nothing. I've stolen from corrupt jerks like Hill, but I've taken plenty from good people, too. For what? Some shiny new toys in a crappy apartment on the edge of town? The high is nice, but it wears off. Then you look around and see... nothing. So you get back out there. Try and chase that feeling down. It's not the same, but... I know what you mean. After everything we do, everything we're capable of, coming home just feels... Like a disappointment. All right. Hmm. I think you may have misinterpreted things. Oh. Sorry. I thought... Never mind. Harvey's my friend. I... I can't do this to him. There's nothing going on with me and Harvey. Maybe not for you. Let me go get you a blanket. At least she's not hissing at you anymore. Hooray for small miracles. Another drink? Got anything stronger than water? What kind of a girl do you think I am? Never run into anyone else who did this, you know? You can't be Batman all the time. So what's a night off look like? What do you do when you take off the mask? <laughs> I guess I could use a hobby. Any advice? Not sure I'd be the right one to give it. Got a few books I could loan you. Hey. I read. Spreadsheets don't count. <laughs> to better days ahead. Morning, Alfred. Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. I hadn't heard from you. I didn't know what happened if... I, uh, took a bit of a beating when I ran to the children of Arkham. What happened? It's kind of a long story. I'll tell you about it when I get back. <sighs> I always fear the day you don't come home, Bruce. I know, Al. Where are you, anyway? I, uh... I stayed at Selena's last night. Oh. <laughs> Nothing happened. <laughs> I never said it did. While you're there, this might be a good opportunity to learn more about Miss Kyle. After all, we really don't know anything about her. See what you can find lying around, if she's trustworthy. Yeah, um... That's a smart idea. We'll see what I can find. At the very least, you can find that grapple gun of yours. Right. That might be harder than you'd think. She doesn't share your love of organization. Yes, well, I'll see you back at home, Bruce. She can afford to eat anywhere, and she still chooses Chinese takeout. That isn't even the good place. Scarlet Pimpernel, much ado about nothing. Petrarca. Hm. Didn't take her for a romantic. What's this one? Oh, 
the Gita Govinda. That's academic. This was an exhibit at the Gotham Museum of Art. I helped raise the funds for it. Lucius even set up new security for the museum. How did she get in? I think it's safe to assume she didn't pay for that. There you are. Uh, I hope she didn't break anything. <sighs> Vacation spots or just marks on her burglary checklist? Looks all right to me. Nothing growing, at least. At least she's got the essentials. Ah. Harvey. Hey. I, uh, I brought breakfast. C can I come in? I don't know if that's such a good idea. Just for a minute. I really need to talk to you. If you want me to go, I'll go. But I have to get this out. Bruce? What the... Uh, Seriously? What are you doing here? Have a seat, Harvey. No! I don't need to sit down. Bruce, tell me what is going on. I spent the night here. That's it. You... I can't believe this! Don't! Don't touch me! I thought I would come here and... So stupid! God, I should have known. I should have known that you would do this to me! You were just using me, weren't you? Both of you! I don't care about you. No one does. I shouldn't have come. Harvey, nothing happened. I promise you. No, you don't have to answer to him. He... he will not be able to protect you. And I don't need him to. Just... get out of here, Harvey. What happens when the children of Arkham come for him? You think you won't get caught in the crossfire? They're coming for all of us. He can't stop them! I may go down for what my father did, but I won't take her down with me. She'll be fine. Ah, oh, funny. Thinking you have a choice. Thinking you can save the people around you. Thinking you could do what Harvey couldn't! I'm sorry. What the hell is going on with you? Up until now, Harvey has been weak. He's been afraid. Always depending on everyone else to save him. Like a child. You stop it! Now you see. These aren't your friends. They aren't going to help you. Harvey. All right, now you've got two seconds. Or what? Harvey won't be pushed around anymore. No, he's going to make them pay. Everyone who thought they could hurt him and get away with it. Starting with you. Both of you! You're gonna pick that up. Who am I? Yes, you are. Harvey, you are our friend. We don't want to fight you. And what if I do? Jesus, Harvey. Of course, gotta be fair about this. Can't play favorites. They both deserve it, one way or another. Uh, how about we flip for it? This isn't funny! No... No, it really isn't. Selena... Looks like you're first. Yeah, always getting in the middle of things. Stay the hell away from me! The call's already been made! Harvey! 
Bruce! No! I don't want to hurt you! This isn't... They turned their backs on you! Harvey, put the knife down! <sighs> Selena! <sighs> He's gonna hurt someone! You know we can take him out. Have you lost your mind? No. Harvey! You need to calm down. What are you doing? No going back now. That's enough. I can't. Oh God, I can't listen to him. You're not alone. We're right here. Okay. Yeah, I am. I am. I am. My fault. Harvey, don't. Bruce, I... I don't think we can help him. Not on our own. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. He's my friend, Selina. I'm not going to abandon him. He needs professional help. Help you can't give him. It's okay, Bruce. I'll go. I don't deserve your help. Go off with your tail between your legs. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Harvey! <sighs> so much for this place. I'm not gonna stick around and wait for him to come back. I thought it would be a while before I had to move again. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's not safe to stay here. And I'm not sure I'm gonna find another place with this kind of private access. Ugh. Maybe I'll live on a boat. <laughs> Kidding. <coughs> yeah. That means you too. <sighs> we won't go far. Don't worry. You should come stay with me. Uh, I don't know. There's plenty of space. Alfred could set up a guest room for you. I'll think about it. <sighs> Great. What was that about? I'm supposed to announce my resignation at a press event today somehow try to appear happy that Oswald Cobblepot is taking my job. Sounds like an opportunity. How do you mean? They screwed you out of your own company. You have all this information that could bring them down, and they're handing you a live mic. So use it. Don't be their puppet. I need to warn everybody about the children of Arkham. They have big plans for Gotham. Hopefully they'll listen. You better get going. I've got some packing to do. The offer still stands. Sounding better and better by the minute. I'm sorry about all this, Bruce. We've... Uh, we've prepared a brief damage control statement to make this easier. After I introduce you, all you'll have to do is read what's on the teleprompter. And then I can take it from there. Got my little coronation speech just waiting. And please, Bruce, try to be on your best behavior. The very best. Wouldn't want to bring any more shame to the Wayne family name, now would we? I know it's unfair to ask this of you, but please, Right now, your reputation, your entire legacy, depends on your cooperation. Get through today, and I can help you. 
I can convince the board to bring you back. It might not be CEO, but it will be something. I haven't had a say in any of this, and you expect me to cooperate? I won't do it. This is about more than just your ego, Bruce. It's in everyone's best interest for you to gracefully step down. Bruce, what's your opinion of the Shiner? Regina wanted me to cover it up with makeup. She doesn't think it looks very dignified. But here I think it's a fine display of what the moral high ground looks like. Mr. Cobblepot. All in good fun, honestly. A thrown punch is just water under the bridge. Right, Bruce? Boys are just being boys and all of that. No hurt feelings, I'm sure. Bruce just didn't like losing the office. It's not the black eye that makes you undignified, Oz. Hey, will you two please stop this? You're both professionals. It's time. Bruce, I'm going to introduce you and then you're on. Please, stick to the teleprompter. Good morning, everyone. And thank you for being here. Wayne Enterprises has always taken its role in the community very seriously. Isn't it funny? And we've always How everything I said to you in the park has come true. Me, taking everything that's yours. And that's not even a punchline. No, dear, not decades, even close. We have no one's going to follow you around and take pictures now. It'd always be sad if you were so bloody handsome. I know who you really are, Oz. And I'm going to expose you. Oh, knowing and proven are two very different things, Bruce. This is just a first step towards making things right. Soon enough, it'll be Cobblepot Industries, Cobblepot Medical, and Cobblepot Tech on tops of buildings, and you, Wayne, will be what you should have been all along. A forgotten footnote. Cobblepot will come to mean the future of Gotham, and Wayne will be a story no one wants to hear. What happens to my company is up to the board. I think you're a little deluded about the type of power you're going to have. All in good time, all in good time. It's amazing the sort of patience I've developed over the years. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did some digging, and you know how old Hill admitted he had your mom and dad killed? I found out why he did it. Oh yeah, and I'll tell you the story, but only if you say, pretty please. It's quite the page, Turner. I know you're lying, Oswald. You don't know anything. I wouldn't lie about this, I promise. Story's too good for that. Buzz it yourself. And now, Bruce Wayne would like to say a few words. Remember, enjoy yourself, Bruce. After all, you never know how much time you really have left. I'm stepping down from my position as CEO of Wayne Enterprises, but I am not doing so voluntarily. The board of Wayne Enterprises has voted me out. At a meeting, I was not invited to attend. I know what my father did. I know how much he hurt you, but I am nothing like him. His actions are his own. Stop trying to save face. I worry for the future of Wayne Enterprises. The decisions made in the next few days will be critical in shaping what that future will be. Careful, Bruce. My replacement. Oswald Cobblepot is a member of the Children of Arkham. They control his every move. Security! Step back, Mr. Wayne. Oh, that was quite a show you put on, Bruce. <clears throat> My apologies, folks. Please forgive me, Mr. Wayne. Everyone. I, for one, completely understand his behavior. Too. Nice After statement. All, the press seemed to eat it up. I rather enjoyed it myself. Not that it'll change anything. Vicky, go away. It sounds like your days of giving orders are through. Dropped your pen. That's not... Uh, 
I'm sure some of you remember the formal duty of cobble pump. You feel that? That's the drug taking hold of you. How could you? Retribution, Bruce. We've all recently learned of the I think it's time you knew my real name. I am And you already know the penguin. Look at him up there, taking everything that should belong to you. Mocking you, a smug, insignificant bastard. He thinks he can get away with it. Because none of them know who he really is. They wouldn't believe you if you told them. And if we could just get one more round of applause for our friend, the man of the hour, Bruce Wayne! Someone's a little touchy, it seems. It would be so easy to get rid of him. Who else will deliver justice? After his shocking and atrocious display of violence towards Oswald Cobblepot and members of the press, Bruce Wayne has demonstrated a clear lack of mental stability. That is why, regrettably, I made the decision to have my old friend hospitalized in Arkham Asylum. Even with Batman as its protector, Gotham already has enough deranged criminals on its streets. I believe that Gotham's citizens deserve to be safe, that they deserve to be protected. Even if that means I have to do it myself. With the children of Arkham out in full force, we need him now more than ever. Where is Batman?